why are you expecting for six dollars a guard, Tony? I don't know. I don't know. I like the color they choose. Orange, really nice. TAO, uh, orange, metallic, like a copper looking thing. It does have this like, you know, technology glitch thing going on there. Just like Every single day. Go. Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today we are doing the Glitch Abano. Uh, it's Robusto 550 by 5, which I already did a Calero uh, review. So now we're doing a different blend, which is the Habano. There you go. All right. So the difference. Between that and the Calero is this is Ecuadorian Habano. And the binder is Mexican, so most likely San Andreas. And uh, the filler, I think, is Dominican. $6.10 for this cigar. Smells like woodsy and a little bit peppery. Cedary. Nothing too special in terms of smell. Cut and light. For those people who doesn't know the history of Glitch, like I said, they were trying to make some cigar and they screwed up, typing the wrong thing into the system and used the wrong tobacco and turns out it tastes good. So that was uh, that's where the Glitch came from. Light this up. So for those people who didn't see the Calero review, can go view that one first. Okay. And by the way, that, even though it's called Glitch, it's by Blackbird. So. Cedar, pepper, a very slow pepper. It's like, you know, you know it's coming, but it's like very slow. Just like a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. All right, it's such to come up. It tastes like, um, like green chili pepper powder, pepper. It's very slow. Very, very slow working. Like that. It has a good coloring. It looks pretty good. I like the band too. We'll talk about the band in a minute. It has a little bit of like zesty citrus taste to it too. And it has a little bit of like mineral taste to it. And this is pretty much what I get. Not much. Uh... Oh, uh, if you smoke it slowly, you'll get a little bit of like barnyard taste. So let me smoke one third. We'll be right back. Try to go fast so we don't have to watch for 18 minutes. All right, one third of the way through, I don't know. It just tastes like slightly stronger Calero. The pepper is not even that noticeable, unless you retrohale. It's weird. This cigar is mild, medium, at most. Mild, medium, at most, little bit of pepper, only on the retrohale, not on the taste bud. I don't know. 
That's kind of disappointing. I thought it was going to be a little bit different, a little bit more. But it's just a punchier Calero at this point. I, I, I don't know. What? I'm a little bit disappointed. I thought it was going to be very different. I don't know what I'm expecting. Because the Caleros uh, had a little bit more flavor than I expecting. And this one had a little bit more flavor than Calero, but not where I'm expecting. So, um, yeah, we'll continue to smoke it down to the second third. Hopefully, it transitions. It does feel like the peppers try to get through. There's a little bit more floral note at the end. You start to start tasting this floral note at the end. From that woodsy note to the floral note. But that was it. That was it. But why are you expecting for $6 cigar, Tony? I don't know. I don't know. I, maybe I was hoping that it would be better than $6. Because there's so much hype about this glitch cigar. That I would think that's much better than what it is. But it's not. It's kind of at the expected zone. With a little bit of that floral at the end. That's kind of pleasant. So let me smoke another third. We'll be back. Two third. Not much change. You know, you kind of had to expect $6 cigar to be $6 cigar. So not much change here. Uh, in fact, I think the flavor got lighter. The flavor got lighter. It didn't, it didn't get more. So nah, $6 cigar is $6 cigar, I guess. Last third. Let's take a look at the band. If I can take this off. It'll be a quick review. Let's go. I like the color they choose. Orange. Really nice. TAO. Uh, orange. Metallic. Like a copper looking thing. It does have this like, you know, technology glitch thing going on there. Just like the Calero. The Calero is like what? Yellow or something like that. Uh, not nearly as cool as this one because this one shines. Ding, 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 ding. So, yeah, a little bit better, but I don't know. At this point, I kind of prefer uh, the Calero better because this one is kind of boring. It's kind of boring. So, yeah, let me finish the last third. We'll go to summary, but at this moment, I can tell you $6 is $6 cigar. $6 is for a reason. Be right back. All right, last little bit. Unfortunately, tastes like the first third. It's like the first third. Six dollars a cigar is a six dollars a cigar, but for six dollars a cigar, you do get what you pay for. All right, so I will still recommend this for six dollars or six dollars and, and, and a dime. But I, I could still, um, you, you do get six dollars worth, but just not expect too much for six dollars. You know, six dollars like budget cigar price is almost a bundle cigar price, so you're getting that smoking. And I think it's slightly better than normal average bundle cigar. Um, what I'm disappointed about is that being Habano is actually not very spicy. All right? Being Habano is not very spicy, so it kind of is a little bit disappointing. But everything else is good. Everything else is good. So I will recommend this cigar. Go try it. Glitch. Habano. $6. Not too bad at all. Um, for $6. Keep in mind, for $6. If you're smoking this, you expect something that's going to beat like an $8 cigar, $11 cigar, uh, something like uh, New World, uh, AJ Fernandez. No, it's not. So keep your expectation to a $6 range and you will probably enjoy it. Okay? So that's it for this cigar review. If you like it, like, subscribe, comment, share, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.